Dear customers, this is Brad from Woolworths and I'm here to talk to you about the steps Woolworths has taken to ensure every one of our customers has access to our high quality goods in these challenging times. We've set up some common sense trading restrictions that will help all members of the community get the items they need. You may have seen recent news articles where Woolworths took the unprecedented step of dedicating the first hour of trade to pensioners and seniors. This is a first for Australia, and it shows that Woolworths are dedicated to looking after the vulnerable in our community. Sure, there were a few teething problems, there were long queues and some of our stores didn't even have any toilet paper or tissues in stock, but I can promise you this, that won't happen again. From next week, we're implementing some exciting new restrictions that will really help all members in our community community get the items they need. Let's get started. Mondays will now be designated as Help the Elderly Day. As you can see here, from 7am to 8am, doors will be open to 95 year olds and above. This is to make sure that they can access all the quality products that they've come to expect at Woolworths without having to fight the crowds. 8am to 9am will be designated for 90 to 94 year olds. This pattern will continue in 5 year increments until 2pm. Note that you must bring identification so that we can verify your age, and that if you fail to remove yourself from the store at the appropriate time, you'll be forcefully removed. From 2pm, everyone else will be allowed entry. Of course, there probably won't be anything left, but that's okay, because on Tuesday, it's Help the Young Day. From 7am to 8am, 0 to 3 year olds will be allowed entry along with a parent or carer. A birth certificate will be required for all entrants. Note that parents or carers will not be allowed to touch any of the products or influence their children's purchasing decision in any way, for example by speaking or pointing to a product. Failure to do so will result in the carer being forcefully removed. 16 to 25 year olds will not require a carer. Wednesdays will be designated as Alphabet Day. Doors will open to all customers at 7am, however, there will be some rules put in place. You can only buy items that begin with the same letter as your surname, with item names as listed on our website. Note, there will be no limits on Alphabet Day, so if your surname begins with A, you can buy as many AmbiPure car air fresheners as you like. If your surname starts with V, feel free to load your trolley up with salt reduced Vegemite or Veggie Chip multi packs. Alphabet Day is all about having fun. Thursdays will be assigned as Preppers Day. We understand that many of our customers firmly believe that the apocalypse is upon us, so we will be opening our doors at midnight on Thursdays to allow all our prepping customers to stockpile. However, there are a couple of strict rules. Firstly, you must buy a minimum of 10 of each item that you put in your trolley. That is, if you'd like to buy an Espressatoria milk frother, you'll have to buy at least 10 of them. Secondly, you must spend a minimum of $1,000. This is to make sure that only true preppers enter our store. Doors will close at 6am, so make sure you're getting early. For a bit of family fun on Fridays, we're going to have a treasure hunt. All are welcome, but to make things interesting, all essential items will be taken off the shelves. Instead, these items will be hidden throughout the store. So for example, individual toilet paper rolls could be hidden behind other groceries, or under shelves, or even under the cash registers. The good thing about Woolworths treasure hunts is that there are no limits. That's right, if you can find it, you can keep it. Bring the family along on Fridays and have a great day out. And now for my biggest announcement. On Saturdays, we've actually teamed up with, you're not going to believe this, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Together with the UFC, we've come up with the Woolworths Ultimate Food Fight. This is no ordinary food fight. This is a literal fight for food and toilet paper. All customers must be willing to fight. Mixed martial arts gloves will be provided free of charge. Each customer has a single five minute round to grab as many groceries as they can. Note, there will be no item limits. However, unified MMA rules will apply. That is, customers will be allowed to strike each other with their fists, elbows, knees, feet, and so on. Headbutts, eye gouging, biting, spitting, hair pulling, etc. will not be allowed and will result in immediate and forceful removal. We're not barbarians after all. Keep it clean, listen to all commands given to you by our fully trained staff, but most of all, have fun. And finally, Sundays will be our cleanup day. As you can imagine, after having the treasure hunt on Fridays and the ultimate food fight on Saturdays, the store will be in a bit of a state, so unfortunately we'll have to close every Sunday into the foreseeable future. Anyway, these are the new and exciting restrictions that we'll be enforcing from next week. Ultimately, we want every member of the community to be able to access our wide range of high quality products. Thank you and goodbye. 
G'day everyone, this is Stephen Kane from Coles, just letting you know that Coles are also implementing some new rules due to the ongoing shortages. Instead of complicating things like Woolworths have, we're going to keep things simple. First of all, we're removing all essential items from our shelves — toilet paper, pasta, and so on. Instead, for every $30 you spend, you'll get one free toilet roll. For every $50 you spend, you'll get one packet of pasta. And for every $100 you spend, you'll get a free bottle of hand sanitizer. So all you have to do is do your regular shop at Coles, say $300 worth, and you'll get yourself 10 rolls of toilet paper, 6 packets of pasta, and 3 bottles of hand sanitizer, all for free. As I've always said, good things are happening at Coles. Guten Tag. Dies ist ein Vertreter von Aldi. Aldi hat kein Toilettenpapier mehr. Es ist kein Toilettenpapier mehr übrig. Wir ersetzen alle Toilettenpapiere durch hochwertige deutsche Schokolade. Deutsche Schokolade ist Toilettenpapier weit überlegen. Vielen Dank für Ihr anhaltendes Engagement in Deutschland. Es lebe Aldi.